Hello and welcome to the first episode of Boat Tech. In this episode, we're going to be comparing the awesome Evinrude two-stroke G2300 versus the mighty, mighty Mercury 400R outboards. Obviously, one is 300, one is 400, but as you know, the Evinrude is very light and the Mercury is very, very powerful. So two Goliath outboards from two ends of the spectrum. So the test boat that we're actually using is an unusual one. It's a Princess 25, 1980. It's a cabin cruiser. Um, it's been extensively modified. It's had the original pair of engines removed and a bracket made, uh, fabricated to carry an outboard. The actual hull weight of the vessel is 2,180 kilos as measured and we used a custom aluminium transom mount that had a weight of 112 kilos. We also used a sea star jack plate so we could correctly alter the attitude at speed and get the most we could. So top speed is going to be the bit we're all interested in. It's the question that's on everybody's mind. Okay, so the Evinrood managed a very, very respectable top speed of 47 miles per hour, which um, I thought was very, very impressive and considering the boat style. The Mercury, however, managed a top speed of 48.9. However, I think I could have squeezed that a little more if I'd have pushed and pushed. Now, the price, big difference between the two. The Evinrood was bought from Golden Arrow Marine at the boat show stand in 2017, brand new for the pricely sum, or not pricely sum, of 13,500. And that came with the controls and everything. So 16 to including BAT. The Mercury came from Powertech, which is also down south, uh, the south of England. And that was quite a bit more expensive in 2021 at 21,000 plus VAT. The weight comparison of the two, the Evinrude had a weight of 258 kilos, so very light for a 300 horsepower outboard. The Mercury, 322 kilos, also very light considering that's a four stroke and the size of these engines. So the prop size, so the, the prop on the Mercury was actually a 14.6 by 17 four blade Rev 4 bit smaller than the Evinrude which had a 15 by 20 RX4 obviously the two engines had different RPMs and that's what they liked acceleration well I'll let you judge for yourself <laughs> yeah that sounded really that good in real life what an awesome sounding engine that was a lot of fun I think that was one of the first times we took this boat out and uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it surprised both of us. Mercury, much quieter, but trust me, it had a lot of pull. It was a, a more relaxed acceleration, much quieter. Um, but if I had to say, I think the Evinrude took it on the acceleration. Now the volume of these two engines was very different. Now the Evinrude, even at cruise, was fairly noisy. It was livable, not outrageous as you might be able to hear but relatively noisy by comparison the mercury was extremely quiet very 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 quiet outboard that was one of the things that impressed me the most about this outboard extremely quiet extremely smooth barely any vibration through the boat so i will give that to the mercury now the looks, obviously it's down to the beholder. I think they both looked amazing. The Mercury just looked high quality and smooth. The Evinrude was like an aggressive motocross bike, I thought. Fuel consumption was an interesting one between the two. Um, the G2 gave me 2.4 mile per gallon average at uh, 35 miles per hour, which I thought was actually quite acceptable um it's supposed to be one of the best in its class and the mercury actually gave me a fuel consumption of 2.2 miles per gallon at the same speed so very similar between the two mercury just slightly less but supercharged engine possibly a little bit of loss there now this point my favorite again a little bit subjective a difficult one 
because the mercury being so quiet allowed me to uh, go out in some pretty tough conditions and stay very relaxed, calm, um, due to the low volume of the outboard, but it still had every ounce of horsepower that you needed when it counts. So, you know, it, it performed extremely well, but um, also was very, very relaxed and very, very quiet. However, it's hard to beat the weight and the price point and the fuel consumption of the Evinrude. Um, of course, the Evinrude is uh, just a touch slower, even though it's almost 100 horsepower, it's 100 horsepower less. Um, but the noise may put some customers off. Uh, from a reliability point of the two engines, because that's something that people all ask, they were both excellent. Um, the, unfortunately, though, the Evinrude is no longer produced um, and the 400R is on its way out. So this will apply to perhaps people that already have these outboards or are perhaps looking to buy them secondhand. But either way, it's a nice direct comparison, one versus the other, fuel consumption versus speed. Um, I hope you've enjoyed our first episode of Boat Tech. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'll put something up soon. Goodbye.